Welcome to the easy guide to star and delta electrical calculations. In this video, I will be looking at five different examples. I'm going to take you through each one in turn with the question and then revisit it with the answer. So without further ado, let's start. Let's have a look at our first question. Star or Y connection, in this case, we have coils, three coils. And so what do we need to know? Calculate and identify the following. We're going to have a look at I phase which is 20 amps. We want to work out IL, V phase. We've already given you VL. So this is our first question. So if you wish to have a go, pause the video, have a go with your calculator pen and see what you get up to. In the meantime, let's have a look at question two before we come back and have a look at the answers. Here's a delta connection. This time the delta connection is consisting of three resistors. Not that it matters. It's just a calculation. It's all we're going to apply. So what do we need to do? Calculate and identify the following. I phase, 43 amps. We don't know what IL is, but we need to identify where it is. V phase, we're going to work it out. And VL in this case is 220 volts. So again, pause the video, have a calculation, see how you get on and then come back and revisit, see what answers you've got. In the meantime, let's have a look at question one and see what you did. Star and Y connection. So there we go. There's what we needed to do. What do we need to identify? Well, there's I phase. It's in the phase winding. IL round the corner is in the line. VL. Voltage between the lines. I've shown L1 to L2, but you could equally pick up the other two as well. It doesn't matter. Therefore, V phase is from the end of a winding to the star point. Remember, you do not need a neutral. But if you had got one, it could be the line to the neutral. That would also be V phase. So we need to work out the line current because we have the phase current. Well, IL equals IP. So therefore, it's 20 amps because we've already been given it. So IL is 20. The next one we need to do is VL and VP. Well, we've already been given VL. VL equals 480 volts. So we need to rearrange this formula. Therefore, V phase equals VL divided by the square root of 3. We can put the figures in. 480 divided by root 3. And that gives us a phase voltage of 277 volts. So I hope you're successful and got those answers. And if you have, let's move on and move on to the next question, which was question three. We'll come back to question two. So this is another star or Y connection. So what are we asking this time? Calculate and identify the following. So I phase, I L, V phase, V L. So I've told you nothing in this case, not down the bottom anyway. But if we look at the question up on the drawing, we can see the current is 15 amps. And R equals 8 ohms. So there's some information we need to fill in the rest. So pause the video, get your pen, get your calculator, give it a go. In the meantime, let's go back and answer question two. So we had those already given to us, the phase current and the voltage line. Let's identify what we've got. There's the phase current. There's another phase current and I've shown them going out. You could show them going in. It makes no odds. Just be consistent. And there's the IL in the line. I've shown it in L1, but you could show it in any of the others. The phase voltage will be across the phase resistors in this case from one point to the next. Therefore, VL is between any two lines. It doesn't matter. So which one you've shown it on really doesn't matter. What we need to do now is fill in the missing answers. So IL equals IP times root three. Well, we know IP if we've identified that. So it becomes 43 times the square root of three. We do that calculation. IL therefore comes to 74.47 amps. So that's that one calculated. And we can put that into our answers. What next can we do? VL. And VP, well, we know that if we had to do the other one by multiply by root three, this one must be the same. So VL equals VP. So therefore, VL and VP are both 220 volts. 
Now let's move on to another question. Question four for you to have a go at. So I've given you a delta connection with resistors and I've told you a current. Calculate and identify the following. So I've given you a resistance and I've given you a resistance of each of those resistors. So that is each resistor is 12 ohms. And what I require you to do is work out the currents and the voltages. So again, pause the video, get your pen, get your calculator and give it a go. In the meantime, let's go back and answer question three. Question three then was given the current, given the resistance and work everything out. Before we do that, let's identify what each of these things are. That is current that's already been given to us. It's in the phase of the resistor. Therefore, round the corner must be IL. And if that one's IL, then technically this one is IP. Therefore, we can put in the IP, which is 15 amps. The voltage, the phase voltage, is from the start point to the end of that resistor. So that one is V phase. And therefore, if that's that one, then this one must be VL. And I've shown it between L1 and L2. But remember, it doesn't matter which one you show it across the same for VP. Well, in star, we've got IL is equal to IP. So therefore, that is 15 amps. So IL is also been answered. That's nice and easy. What do we need to notify? We've got VP equals IP times R. So what effectively are we doing here? It's Ohm's law. It's all we're doing, and it's just recognizing which current and which resistor. Well, there's only one current because they're both the same, multiplied by the resistance of the resistor. And if you do that, what you will calculate is the voltage across that resistor, which in this case is VP. Putting those figures in, that becomes 15 times 8, and that comes to 120 volts, so VP equals 120. So that can be added in. At least one left to do, and that is VL. So what formula is it? Well, VL is larger than VP. How much larger? It's root 3 larger. Putting that figure in, it becomes 120 multiplied by root 3, and that gives you 207 volts. So that's 207 volts for VL, and that is another question done. So let's move on to the last question that's been set. And this one is a delta to star connection. And I've given you some information. I've told you what a voltage is. I've told you a current. What do we need to do? Calculate and identify the following. So basically, Everything. Pause the video, grab a pen, grab a calculator, and give it a go. In the meantime, let's go back and answer question four a delta connection where I gave you resistors in delta and 28 amps. Let's identify everything. So the phase voltage will be across the end of the resistor. And I've shown that particular one, but it doesn't matter which one you show, but that will be a phase voltage. VL is across any line again. I've shown you L1 and L2, but again, it doesn't matter. I phases I've shown in here in those two resistors, but you could equally show them anywhere else but as long as they're in that particular part of the circuit. And if they're I phase, that means that one must be IL. So IL is 28 amps. So we need to work out I phase. Well, if IL is larger, than I phase, so that becomes IL divided by the square root of 3. We put the figures in, that becomes 28 divided by root 3. That gives us 16.16 amps. And we can put that in. Moving on, VP equals I phase times R. So we're back to Ohm's law again because we didn't have any of the voltages, but we do have a current and we do have a resistance. And if we multiply the current going through a resistor by the resistor, you will get the voltage across the resistor. So effectively, we've got I phase times the resistance gives us V phase. So 16.16 times 12. And that gives you an I phase voltage of 194 volts. And that can go in. I fill both in. The reason for that is that V 
equals VL in delta. So we've found all the voltages there. Now let's go and look at the phone answer to question five. So we had to calculate everything in this one. So we need to identify what's what. Well, let's have a look at the phase voltages and we can identify those in both of them. Remember, it's across each phases. So that's in star and delta. VL. There it is, identified, it's between any of the lines, and that will apply to both. Therefore, the voltage that has been given is also a line voltage. A line current is the one that's been shown because it's in the line itself, so we have IL. And we can identify the phase currents now. There are three to identify that I've shown. Two in the delta, but you could show any of them. And then one obviously just going into the resistor into the star. So that identified I phase. So that's pretty much all of those identified. It just leaves us to calculate them. So IL we've got in delta is 13 amps. And that will also be the same for IL in star. And because I phase equals IL in star, that means the phase star current is also 13 amps. So that's identified those and no calculation is just simply recognition. VL in delta is 325. VL in star will also be 325. In delta, V phase equals VL. So therefore that will also be 325. To find the phase current in delta, it is I phase equals IL divided by root 3. That becomes 13 divided by root 3, and that gives us 7.5 amps. So in the delta connection, we have 7.5 amps in each part of that phase. That leaves one more to do, and that is the V phase in star. So V phase equals VL divided by root 3. Putting our figures in, that's 325 divided by root 3, and that gives us 187.6 volts. And that then has answered all of those. So I hope this has been helpful and worthwhile and a good revision aid for you. Thank you very much.